Hey there guys, Mr. Chicken here, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be going through the 12th Doctor. R12. Honestly, his regeneration is still fresh in my mind. Peter Capaldi was a casting choice that really surprised me. He seemed like a boring choice when he was announced, and given my thoughts on the later half of Matt Smith's era, video here, uh, if you're curious, um, I didn't think his run would be anything special, but I was very wrong. Capaldi became one with the Doctor, and because of this, a whole slew of new types of story were made. Capaldi's stories are really impressive because of how out there they were, and because of some of the stuff they accomplished. So before I start, here are my honourable mentions. The Mummy on the Orient Express, The Pilot, and Oxygen. As always, this is all my own opinion, so be sure to comment your favourite Capaldi stories down below, and whilst you're down there, be sure to subscribe. One last thing, spoilers ahead, you have been warned, and let's go. First up, we have the penultimate Twelfth Doctor story, and this one has a lot to unpack being a two-part Moffat finale, but it also succeeds at a lot of the elements it incorporates here. Finally, they made the Cybermen actually scary again, given I feel like they've been handled pretty badly for god knows how many seasons. The first part goes pretty well as a straight up horror thriller, the body horror elements and the sense of dread and running out of time related to Bill and cyber conversion are really well done and the conflict within Bill once she's fully turned is really heartfelt and tragic and it's just really well handled. This also sees Missy and the Master appear and unite with each other and the conflict within Missy is really well handled. Her death made a lot of sense, and it's always great to see John Sim and Michelle Gomez having fun in the role. The Doctor's speech to Missy about why he fights felt very earned, and each character's points of view felt just right in this story. The premise was surprisingly good, and all of the twists and turns were very emotionally resonant. The music is fantastic, the direction was superb, uh, a lot of the effects and the production design were great, and a lot of care was put into this finale. The Doctor's sacrifice at the end felt very earned, and it tied up a lot of arcs uh, in a very satisfying way. It's just a really well-handled send-off to that season, than essentially that Doctor, and it stuck the landing very well. The concept of a good Dalek is an idea that's been toyed around with a lot, but never done in this way. This story does have a dumb premise, however I can easily get past that because of how it explores its themes. The Doctor and Clara have pretty good moral debates in this episode, and subsequently a lot of the characterisation of the Twelfth Doctor comes from this episode. The themes of the Doctor being a good Dalek feel very much like the spiritual successor to Dalek and the themes of morally grey Daleks were also fun as well. The acting is great, from Capaldi in particular, to Coleman as well, to the supporting cast, and even to Nicholas Briggs, who's able to distinguish a lot from Dalek voices, and different types of Dalek voices. The directing is pretty good, and the production design is really solid. There's some small structural problems, but the quality of the storytelling and the character work is good enough that it doesn't matter to me. I like the themes and ideas presented and the way they're told, and this adds so much to Capaldi's Doctor that I can forgive how stupid the premise is, because at the end of the day, this is the story that invested me in Peter Capaldi's Doctor. You're probably thinking that Thin Ice is a weird choice to put this high, but this episode is incredibly fun, and the drama that occurs is really well handled. Bill and the Doctor's drama about who to save and how is really interesting, and their payoffs were very satisfying as well. The production design is fantastic in this episode, with some really good cinematography too. The pacing is really good, and the plot itself is very unique and engaging. I like this setting, and I like how it complements the story and the themes of said story. The music was fantastic, and the editing was really good too. The effects were solid, and its themes are also pretty fun as well. It does have a weak villain, which is my main gripe of the story, but for this kind of episode, I don't think it really matters. 
I get where they were coming from with this story, and whilst it's generic, it doesn't really hinder the story too much. I just think it's a great showing of Capaldi's Doctor Who, with some great themes, a good story and some very heartwarming character beats, which make it really rewatchable. I was surprised that I liked this story as much as I did, because this is such a generic episode, but due to its execution, it's just a really watchable episode. This is the quintessential Base Under Siege story for New Who, which admittedly is something that wasn't done too much in New Who. Um, and it's able to take this really common Doctor Who concept and turn it into something much more interesting. The plot is so original and all of its twists and turns kept me invested. This was a story where the side cast were all pretty well used actually. They're all their own distinct characters that I was genuinely invested in. And there was some great character building, and all the acting all throughout was great. Clara was given a good amount to do and fit in well in this story, and as always, Capaldi is excellent, and his dialogue was fantastic. You can really start to see the arc of his character going from here, um, which of course is good for the story moving forward. Uh, the villain was a unique riff and a genuinely scary threat. I could really feel the urgency and pace where I should have in the story, and the pacing itself was great. The set design, the music, the editing, they were all top notch in this story. The VFX are really good for the ghosts as well, and the directing in its visual style had a lot of flavour and the storytelling was superb. This was just a really interesting and really intense story with some great characters, some good moments and some great tension. Please make more stories like this, because it's clear how much effort and care went into making a story like this. From a behind the scenes making aspect, this is one of the best ones. I don't think I have to explain why this is one of the best episodes of Doctor Who ever because I'm pretty sure you all expected me to put Heaven Sent at number one. The idea of the Doctor being pushed to his breaking point after the shocking ending of Face of the Raven and tortured for four and a half billion years is handled fantastically in this episode. For starters, Peter Capaldi gives his best performance as the Doctor in this episode, and given the quality of his work, that's really saying something. He absolutely carries the entire episode, and every part of his Doctor is picked apart, and this is presented wonderfully by his acting. In addition, the pacing is phenomenal, which is mainly helped out by some great dialogue and amazing editing. For a story that's largely built on one major sequence and one major arc, it balances all of it so well and is able to keep my interest all the way throughout. The directing is stellar as well, with the visual presentation adding so much to the style of the episode, so hats off to you Rachel Talalay. As a whole, the storytelling is some of the best in all of New Who. The concepts and execution just click so well in this episode, and the ending they give it is brilliant. Ultimately, it's a very important episode for the Twelfth Doctor, and pretty much everything is top-notch here. The only thing that lets it down is... Well, find out in my next Doctor Who video, so in order to find out what that may be, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, big thanks to Veritaserum UK for the clips, big thanks to L'Orchestra Cinematique as well for the music used in this video, uh, there'll be a new 12th Doctor video coming soon so look forward to that, and anyway, I've been Mr Chicken Movies and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.